Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be replacing the wiper linkage on the E60. So I don't know if some of you may know this, but the bearings, there's two of them either side and they're very prone to wearing out rusting due to the weather, water ingress and things. So um, recently mine actually fell apart and in the rain, um, you know, caused me to have to pull over essentially without any wipers so yeah i'll show you guys how to swap this over on your e60 so first things first we just need to take these caps off you just pry them off they're just little plastic caps just gently work your way around there's one and there's a second one right next we just need to take off a 16 mil nut and a 13 mil on the other side 16 there's one There's the other. Right, so um, now what we need to do is pull this upwards. Um, so it will be seized on, guys. If you haven't replaced it before, it's just the camera there. Um, so what you need to do is just gently wiggle it. Now you can see here, this one's failed. Look, that shouldn't do that. So that's one of the bearings that's gone. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly Gently wiggle this up until it decides to come off. Right, so it's going to be a pain. I'm going to grab my um, pullers and I'll show you guys how to do that. Right, so just use one of these generic pullers. Just hook it around. Doesn't have to be too neat. It's just enough so that you can get some purchase on it. So there's one. And as, my, as you see, mine's falling apart there. And then this side, same again. There you go. And there you have it, the final piece. Right guys, so excuse the mess here, apologize for that. So here we have the um, new linkage so what we need to now do is transfer the old wiper arm onto this now obviously the wiper arm itself as you can see is a whole long piece so first up we need to take this um, wind deflector off the little cover and all it does is it simply clips into place there you go so that's off we just need to undo the nut here, so we'll do that now. Right, so both nuts are now off, so we can now simply lift this away, like so. Get the correct orientation, and slot this into place. And then you can then do it back up again quick there you go just quickly do it back up I just nipped it up like so and there you go guys so we can go and put it back on the car so let's pop over to the car again. To put it back on is the complete reversal. So um, you just line the wiper blade up and the two arms. So one and the other. Now you might need to spring this back like so because it will cause you to have issues when trying to adjust. And then you can get your each nut and just put it on finger tight now i would recommend you sort of lube these up for future and um, i've already done this um because i've taken one off already just to show you guys 
how it goes on and off so that's fine for me so just get the thread started and then you can gently put your wiper blade down like that and then you can go and grab your gun or your your socket and your 13 mil sorry 13 mil and 16 mil back up again there's one and there's that one that's nice and secure grab the wind deflector quickly as well all right so just gently clip that back on like so and then finally just your little caps they don't they're just hand tight Splash them in my hands Brilliant. and then to test that's it guys it's not too bad um nice and quick and in the strip future i'll show you how to actually repair these completely from scratch if you want to see that just drop a comment down below and um i'll do that for you guys so let's go and test it so um this is really common actually guys if you get knocks from the, when the wipers are going that's a sign that the actual bearing has failed so this should give you a nice smooth um wiper action so yeah, so all we need to do now is just quickly test it and see if it washes correctly and wipes correctly. So let's do that now and um, see what happens. And there you go. Nice and smooth, that's what you want. Job done. A nice and easy, not the worst job in the world to do. Um, something that any of you guys can do at home with you know, a 16 mil spanner, a 13 mil spanner, and okay, fair enough, uh, you know, a gear puller or something along them lines, but that's all you simply need. Um, so yeah, save some money, do it yourself, honestly. If you've got any questions, as always, pop a comment down below, give us a like, a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.